I can't lie, man. This might be the most fun I've had in Brahalla in such a long time. And not even to knock the game previously. Like, I've had fun with Raw, obviously, or else I wouldn't have played it for this long. But, oh my... This legend is a masterpiece. I cannot praise BMG enough. They did such a good job with the new legend. And, like, more importantly, the new weapon, right? Boots are, like, incredibly fun. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not even just boots. Like, the legend as a whole, the theme... I mean, you know, let's ignore the base design for a second, you know, but you slap a skin on it and then, you know, it, it's, there's not even a single downside. But like I said, the theme, the SIGs, the SIGs are so satisfying. The sounds of the SIGs even, and like I said, boots as a whole, how, like pairing it with gauntlets so it's like an offstage engine, it's just so fun. Like there's nothing that's not fun about this engine, it's just sick. And I guarantee every single game we queue today is going to be someone else playing the legend and having fun on it. Like it's just, yeah, I don't know, man. Anyway, as we queue for the first game, and I have a lot to say about this legend and about Boots and everything, of course. Uh, let me shout out the channel members. Moro, Daywalker, underscore, Ty, Controller, Mods, Nitrogen, Drunk, Dog, Lapin, Mark, Brandenburg, Eric's OK, Lil Furky, Atomic, Will, Sourceport, ETB, Terminator, Loser, 420, The Fat Milk, Reese, and Captain Law. By the way, Captain Law on, on, on the diamond... You, you, that brother better, like, cancel that membership immediately. There's no way... Like, I don't even want people to buy that diamond. Like, it's too much, okay? But, yeah, thank you all so much is all I'm going to say uh, for going an extra step to support myself and my content. But as always, literally leaving a like, commenting, subscribing takes two seconds. It's free and that helps. You. That, that's, that's more than enough already. So do those things if you want. And um, yeah, man, by the way, uh, I, you know, before I talk and, and praise, you know, BMG too much, there, there's obviously some bad with the, the patch, you know, it, it's it, the like best patch of all time. It just wouldn't be right if there wasn't something like atrocious about it. Uh, in this case, it's the fucking change of the map pool. I don't know whose idea it was to, to make this fucking map uh, into a, like a tournament legal map like i genuinely really need to know um because wow this this map is straight up ass like like it's you, you know small mammoth fortress got taken out of the game because well not only was it you know too big you know that was a, a concern for players but like the, the platform the rng platform you know moving up and down all game long it's like no one enjoyed that so you know it, oh this sick <laughs> I love this engine, man. Anyway, but like, like, why add this to ranked? I, and they replaced Spirit Temple for it. And I'm all for that, you know. Spirit Temple was... Yeah, I, I hated Spirit Temple. I mean, that, that was an immediate ban. But Spirit Temple was like a, a viable map, in my opinion. You know, like, you could you could play Spirit Temple. There wasn't anything, like, inherently wrong with it. Like I said, in my opinion, anyway. But this one, man, I just... I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, I'm sure they'll change it. Yeah, no one is enjoying that change. Um, so it might not last for too long. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully they, they come to their senses. And then in twos, along with adding this map and replacing Spirit Realm in twos as well. On input, apparently. Uh, they also added fucking literally Planes of Passage into twos. Into the tournament rotation. And they replaced Small Brawl with it. And yeah, loads of people were complaining about Small Brawl in 2v2. Because it, it was just, it's too small to facilitate four players, right? Um... But to replace it with fucking Planes of Passage, I don't think anyone wanted that, I'll be real. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I, I might die here. Because this recovery is dog shit. I lied. Um, okay. You're not... Oh, and I get the dare? Prick. Oh, this is the NSIG. No. But like I said, man, no, he's... You're not killing me off stage. And then the D-SIG? Get out! Oh, wait. No. It's Ensig. Wait. Oh, fuck's sake. That's all I want. Oh my god. Get out. He disconnected as well. Why are you even disconnecting? I mean, map rotation aside, which is like a horrendous change. I mean, they, they did other things that were good, which like I said, they put the tutorials in, they update it. I can't speak. By the way, this. Thank god we got this map this game. Because this map is the one that like 100% replace, replace, please, please add this map into the tournament rotation and the ranked rotation. Do you understand how good this map is? It's such a perfect map. And like, I, I love this map. Like, no platforms. It's small. Like, if you don't want to, you know, take my word for it, go go listen to what pro players are saying about this map. Like, I've heard Boomy say countless times he likes this map, fam. You know, like I said, if my word is not enough, it's why add fucking Western Air Temple? He asked for that, you know? This map is, is elite. Why is it being wasted on experimental? Like, literally, for what reason? It's so good. Anyway. Um, yeah. I was... Oh. I just want to get the... Like, I don't really know what to do off of... I mean, I guess I should have just said, really. Oh, I'm dead here. I lied. I thought he'd... I never... Uh, 
even after like playing this weapon as much as I have, like yesterday and shit, I can't lie, low key, I still don't know what move I'm getting hit by most of the time. Yeah, it's out. Um, anyway, but yeah, like I was saying, this map is elite. Please fucking replace Western Air Temple, whatever the fuck, with this one. And, I, and then, then I'll be happy. Then I'll have no complaints. I mean, the only other thing is the fact that the, there wasn't a balance patch. But, I mean, don't get too pissed at that because there's literally going to be a balance patch like soon, I would imagine. I, I think they just wanted to wait until, obviously, you know, they, they could balance um, boots as well. You know, they wanted to make one big collective balance patch instead of releasing one now and then one with just boot changes. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's kind of disappointing too. There was no balance patch, but like, I'm not as pissed as some people are about that. Like, I, it's, I mean, how can you not be happy with this update? Anyway, as for actual battle boots, because I know you don't want to know my thoughts and shit. Uh, okay, this guy's fucking me up, Loki. Oh, I can't get the. Okay, well, let me start with that then. Oh, fuck, I, I just don't know how to follow up on the weapon. Like, in like a lot of situations. Okay, he's definitely dead here though. I'm gonna just GCN like out. Um. Yeah, it's a banger weapon. I can't lie though, I don't think it's as broken as a lot of people are saying. Like, I, I just straight up don't. No bias, nothing. I mean, how can you buy... Like, I mean, it, it's, it's day two. It's fucking the second day this weapon has even existed. You know, it, those are my thoughts on it. But, oh, wait, that's... Poor guy. <laughs> There's always just going to be that one brother playing fucking Koji. Sweating his life out on bow. Oh, this new legend is out. Like, how can you not be playing Tesco? That's all I've got. Anyway, um... But as I was saying though, it's literally day two of the release. No matter how good you are at this game, no matter how knowledgeable you are, you can't predict how good this weapon's going to be. Like, you straight up can't. It's, it's too early. Um, there's, there's a lot left to be discovered. There's a lot left to, you know, good and bad, you know, counterplay and, you know, whatever the opposite of counterplay is, just straight up play. I don't fucking know. But yeah, as, as I was saying, like, there's just, there's, there's a lot, okay? Uh, and I don't know. There's definitely downsides to it so far. I mean, from what I can tell, recovery is just straight up dog shit. Okay, that was broken as fuck. But like, the recovery is just really bad. I'll show you a lot of an example after this game uh, in like replays. But like, you just... And like, okay, I know I followed up there, but I was about to say the follow-up game as well off of Sidelight, it, it's like Sword in a way where I think it's it's just 50 50s you know but like you can escape nearly every string on this on this like the only string i found that is unjumpable is is d light there like this into jump set oh i completely missed it um oh shit but like i, I don't know like i said brothers are calling it broken you know like the, the less kind of experienced players uh, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of you know like the gold players and and then people there calling it broken um i just no it does no damage like it just feels you know why you think it's broken because it feels like you're getting hit by a million oh this is true that's broken i can't lie uh but it feels like you're getting hit by a million things in reality you've been hit by one move which does piss all damage like i can't lie dare does less damage than unarmed dare you know you, you need to deep it like the weapon does literally no fucking damage and by the way i'm not here to say the weapon's bad I, i'm just here to to play devil's advocate you know and, and tell you lot that it's maybe not as good as you think it is um in a lot of ways uh, this is a very good example so look, look here i get you know this is just an experimental game by the way it's obviously not ranked and also this weapon feels a lot stronger and experimental because this weapon makes you touch the floor with like most moves on the kit um like says dares side light you know they all put your opponent on the floor so they all get their dodge back like mid string so even if you catch someone's dodge it will return to them because all your moves put them back on the floor and you know refreshes their dodge in experimental, obviously, because the absolute horse shit, dog shit, cat shit, fucking dog shit, dog changes. Wow. Dodge changes are still in. If you touch the floor, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you still don't have your dodge. Like, it's just... Anyway, experimental is fully making this weapon seem stronger than it is. But, like, besides the point. So, let's say, like, here, you know, I hit this end light. I'll read a little dodge in. Catch another end light. Get the jump, uh, the fucking jump read. Of the, you know, the chase dodge there. Uh, and then I, I die here, you know, because I go down, I have all my options. You'd think, surely, you know, having literally every single option left, I can get back to stage. I made the mistake of using my, my fucking recovery before my dodge. This recovery is so ass, okay? Like, you just, you, you, like, look how much, okay, there's no horizontal movement. You can only drift in the way that you started drifting. So you see how I, I moved left first and then started, you know, going up with the recovery? It means I, I don't have drift. Like, I can't drift the end of it to be able to touch a wall with it. Um, and it's the same on stage as well. You, you just use the recovery and you get, you, you go, you're in a straight line. Like you can't drift either side. So there's no horizontal movement. 
as opposed to like a blasters recovery or like a sword recovery where you have loads even orb recovery you have loads of horizontal movement during it to make up for like you know the, how active it is and for like the lack of on blasters especially like the lack of vertical range and the end lag as well but like yeah you can see you 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 fuck you don't even get back to stage look from here the recovery doesn't bring me back to the wall which is crazy well it cut it, it does but i can't drift back to it anyway but either way you don't, you don't even go that high with it to make up for it and like i said there's loads of end lag so i just fall here and i can't use my dodge so i, I don't make it back to the stage like it is that's really cringe on the weapon um other than that though man it, yeah i mean the six on tesco indefensible watch this shit like little offstage interaction hit one sig is finished Fam, oh, there's something about the gauntlet six man all you have to do here gcd <laughs> and he's just dead i can't uh it's too fun yeah the, the six are broken the six are straight up broken like, the, like i said i think people are right on that one but um i don't know there's definitely downsides to the weapon but yeah, man, like I was saying, it's just, you might feel like you've been hit by a hundred different moves, but you've just been hit by one, uh, like, like a side light or something. You know, side light's like four hits, but it's not actually four hits. It doesn't do the damage of four hits. It does the damage of one hit. Like, I, I don't know. Like, once you get more familiar with the kit, I feel like brothers will stop kind of thinking it's as broke. Yes. Okay. Can we, can we play the game now? Am I going to have to smack you up first? Okay. Interesting. Um... But yeah, once people are more familiar with the kit, I think then they'll kind of understand the, you know, the shortcomings of it a bit more. Because th there is, like I said, a lot of shortcomings. The recovery being one. You know, like, it just has none of the redeeming qualities of, like, a recovery. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have good horizontal, like, movement. It, well, it has no fucking horizontal movement uh, at that. And, and the vertical, like, it has a good hitbox, okay? But the hip, like, it doesn't have a good hitbox above it. So it's like when you're in these situations where you're down here trying to come back to stage, like you're just fucked. Like you just you just die. Like a lot of end lag. Like there's, like I said, every single recovery in this game, you know, not any recovery is perfect, but they all have shortcomings. And then you know the the big kind of uh, what's it called? Like redeeming quality is the word I'm looking for. Like I said, blasters recovery, loads of horizontal movement, and it has that big blast at like the end of the recovery, right? So you have to really time your fucking was it like your your like edge guard against them right because otherwise you're getting hit with a big blast is blast uh and you, oh fuck's sake i can't hit two combos apparently in oh spot dodge uh all the strings are escapable like most of them anyway they're like 50 50s so you know they're not ass um yeah and, you know there's not a million different ways to escape them but like i said you can get out of them very easily oh see it doesn't even kill like from on top of a platform when he's in kill percent. It's just... I don't know. Like, Gauntlet's recovery is another... It, it reminds me of Gauntlet's recovery and how it moves, right? Like, it's just straight up. Absolutely no fucking... I could have made it back with, a, like, a GCN sig. But, like, like no drift on it, you know? It's just, like, Gauntlet's... You know, Unarmed even has some drift on it. Like, look, you can, like, drift it a little bit. Um, but if I grab Gauntlet's, you'll see it, it literally just goes straight up. You can't move it side to side at all. It's just... just yeah. It's like that. But at least Gauntlet's recovery, you know, the, the big kind of, um, you know, redeeming quality on that one is the fact that it has so much priority. So someone tries to come down to ground poundy, it, it doesn't matter that it's like so predictably like vertical, you know, you're going to, they're going to get hit by it. They have to time it. They have to work around it. But Buttes, it doesn't have that. It's just, oh my God. Wait, NSIG? Ooh. Um... And also the fact that it actually reaches very far up as well. And you can even drift it as well at the end. Like, you have more drift on a fucking Gauntlet's recovery than you do on the Battle Boots one. Like, yeah, that, that's my advocate. If I'm going to advocate for, like, advocate is the fucking word I'm looking for. For a buff on any of the moves, it's recovery. For a nerf, definitely the force of Ser. Because the Ser force is ridiculous. Like, it's straight up, like, you can't defend that shit. Look. Oh, I missed. Fuck's sake. Um, maybe even the drift of Ser as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I do not want to hear anything about the four-piece two combo, yeah, any anything like this. All the two combos on this legend are so fucking situational. I'll give you ten pounds out of my own pocket if you hit them in a ranked match or, or something like that. It's not happening, okay? Like for example, the one out of D Sig or, on Battle Boots, right? If I can actually get Battle Boots um, into D Light, that's literally only fucking hitable at quite literally zero damage. Nothing else, like zero damage. And against a high defense legend. Do you know how specific that is? Like, do you know how many things have to go right? For you, for the first move of an entire match that you have to hit has to be a, a Gauntlet's D-Sig, right? 
Then they, the, the like, first move of the entire match. Gauntlet's T-Sig? Battle Boots T-Sig. So you have to get Battle Boots as your first weapon, and then the first move you hit has to be that, right? And then they have to, ha like, you know, they can still escape it if they're just a high defense or, like, sorry, like a low defense legend. It's just... I don't see it as an issue, personally. Um, and then the free piece 2 combo you saw me do earlier uh, is, like... I mean, that one, fair enough. You can definitely hit that. But at the same time, it's yeah, it's also very situational. They have to be at, once again, like, very low damage. I think it will only work up to, like, 20 damage or something like that. You know, it's not going to work forever at all. Um, he's still not... This is what I'm talking about, the recovery fam. How are you not dying to that? And then the Sair kills in yellow. Anyway, um, look, let me try it here and I'll show you. I don't, like, that you have to hit it right at the edge of the stage. Like, you have to straight up hit it here. Or else you're not going to have enough room on the stage to hit it in the first place. Look, I might not even have enough room. I don't have enough room. So you can't even get the free piece. Like, that is so situational as well. I, honestly, I think the Qatar's free piece is more broken than that one. Um, the one I'm talking about, by the way, is, you know, D-Light, Strong Set into, into N-Light. Like, that is like a true combo on Battle Boots. But as I was saying, it's, it's so situational. Like, it's not really a problem, in my opinion. And the four piece. Okay, the four piece. Do you know what D, like, directional influence I would have thought, you know, by 2023, brothers would know what directional fucking influence is. DI. All you have to do to not get hit by that shit is, is move your fingers. Like, I, I'm... See what I'm saying? Because it, it, all that is, is it's D-Light Sair into D-Light Sair. That works out, once again, a very specific, like, health range, right? Like, fucking... Oh, you're dead. I lied. Oh, I didn't lie. Hold on. There's a little ground pump. Oh, shit. That ground pump moves weird. It's strong as fuck, though. It feels like Gorn is Grandpa on 2.0. It doesn't have as much drift, but it definitely has drift. Um. Oh. Dodge in, please. Oh, it would have been clean. Just let me hit something. Let me prove I'm not... I'm not too shit at a weapon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On there. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck. Just get out of my game. But anyway, like I was trying to say, because all the combo is, is D-Light Sair into D-Light Sair. Even if by some miracle, you're at the very, very specific health range you have to be at to get hit by that. You still then need to fucking, you, know, like, you actually let me get a weapon, an experimental. That's rare. You, you still like need to rely on your opponent. Like I said, not having fingers. You need to rely on them scratching their balls or something. Because by the second D-Light, because it's all one big true combo... You can just fucking hold the direction, and then whichever direction you're holding is whichever is like you know the direction that that um, second dealer will send you. So you won't get hit by the by the second set, if that makes sense. Oh, what am I doing? Um, like it, it's I don't know, man. It's uh it's not as broken as, as people would would have you believe. Fucking serious though, like I was saying, definitely. I don't know. It just needs a power shift. That that's all I think this weapon needs. Nerf set, buff recovery. Um, and uh, yeah, I think. I mean, I mean, there's good, there's gonna be much more than that, of course. But for now, that's all I can I can really think of. Okay, Grandpa is so quick. Get out! Oh my god! Yeah, the sigs are crazy. The sigs are fucking insane. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I said though, please, please don't take this as as uh you know thinking I'm calling the weapon bad or anything like that. The weapon is insane. It's good. It's a very good weapon, of course. It's just these things that people are seeing on Twitter or whatever. And they're like, oh shit, wait, this weapon is like unbelievably broken. No, because that's not... Oh, oh I did the wrong D-Light. I'm pissed. Man, that's what I'm saying. You, need, you actually need to be using your brain. I mean, until you're familiar with the weapon. Like, it's day two. But because everything has active input, you just always do the wrong version of an attack. You're not thinking about it. And then you just fuck up. Okay. I could have done way more than that, I think. Oh, just get out. So crazy. He's going to get n because he's done. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, wait, I'm letting him live for clout now. What am I doing? That's a D-Light. You can just use D-Light the same as Sword D-Light as well. Just like do it over the edge like this. Yeah, and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, as you can clearly fucking see, the weapon is very strong. It's just... Things like that. Just don't... Just don't see this shit and then be like, oh, it's broken as fuck. Like, yeah, I just hit a three-piece shoe combo. But it took the entirety of Demon Island for me to fucking hit that. And, you know, for him to be at complete zero damage. Like, there's, it's, it's, they're all situational as fuck is all I'm going to say. The four piece isn't even situational. It just straight up doesn't exist. Okay, unless, like I said, you're scratching your balls, eating food mid-game, fucking not even touching your controller. 
In which case, everything is 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 true and guaranteed. You know? Um, but yeah. Oh, he's dead. Let me play Gauntlet's, man. Oh, if he even survives. Oh, this is Battle Boot still. Oh, could have been clean. What am I doing? This is decent. He's going to call off stage. Oh, oh fuck. I, <laughs> I mean, I called it. You know when you're ready for something, you still get hit by it anyway? But yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point anyway. But power shift, take force away from Sarah because it has too much rocking force on it in all, in all honesty. And um, make recovery, you're not shit. That doesn't kill on Demon Island. You see what I'm saying? I think another one would kill. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Thank God. Uh, but just, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's worth it to have a shit recovery because maybe that's like the, and by the way, I, I could keep recording for like another hour. But I don't, like, yesterday's video was literally an hour long. I don't want to do that again to you lot. But, like, you know, maybe because the weapon is so strong off stage, maybe it's 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 a good thing that it has a really shit recovery. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, anyway, that, that's all I'm going to say, though. Just, just yeah. The, the four-piece two combo does not exist. The three-piece two combo is very situational. The two combo out of the fucking SIG, you're never hitting that in a real game, ever. It, yeah, just... Don't, don't don't base your opinions off of the like I said the shit you're seeing on Twitter in training room okay play the weapon yourself in an actual game and and you'll understand uh, but anyway until next time hopefully you lot have enjoyed hopefully you lot going to have fun with the session I, I pray to God straight after you finish this video you're opening Brahalla and playing the session because it's fun as fuck uh, especially with friends and shit look if I show you my replays I literally played like a million games uh with with Zyder yesterday just just custom tees oh this is experimental but yeah. Custom ones, custom twos. <laughs> Look, I have pages upon fucking pages of just playing Battle Boots yesterday. I, I, I just, I don't know. That's the most fun, like I said, I've had in Brawl in so long. Just, this weapon's sick. BMG did an insane job. Revert a map pool, though, please. Or just replace Spirit Temple with that one IQ'd. I, I don't even know the name of it, but it, it's such a good map. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the things. I didn't even get to them. Tutorials? Oh. Yeah, Jesus Christ. These, I think I'll make a whole video going over these, just like reviewing the the the, me the, the mechanic, reviewing the, what the fuck even is it the feature? I guess. See what I'm saying though. Just kind of giving you my, my thoughts on that. Um, and yeah, I'll try stream today because I know I didn't yesterday, and brothers were looking forward to that because I I was promising streams <laughs> for ages. Now I just didn't stream, but yeah, I mean as you can tell from my upload at like 10 p.m. when I usually upload at like 5 p.m. Uh, yeah, I, I had fuck all time. Um, but today, today I will. So maybe I'll, I'll see you a lot there. And until next time, enough waffling. I love you all and peace.